Sharky Game here. So today we're taking a look at the Uncharted 3 limited edition bundle for the PlayStation 3. So this comes with a DualShock 3 controller. It's got an Uncharted theme on it, as well as Uncharted 3 game. This is a Japanese bundle, and in Japan the game is known as Uncharted 3 The Sands of Atlantis. So this is the front of the box, and you can see it looks like an adventure chest. It's kind of displayed pretty cool. You can see the controller, and you can see the game in the back there. So it's PS3, PlayStation 3, Uncharted with original DualShock 3. On the sides are kind of plain, they just really have like a chest kind of wood look design. On the back, it tells you a bit about the game, shows some screenshots. There's Nathan Drake standing just there. And down the bottom, I'm assuming it's telling you a bit about the DualShock 3. On the underside of the box, there's not really much. It's mostly just all things in Japanese. It's just about sort of details, I guess, about it. Okay, so let's open this up and have a look at it. So it opens up the top here, and there's this plastic thing that you pull out. So first up at the back there, you've got sort of just a DualShock 3 little booklet here. Next up, you've got the game. And I haven't bothered opening it because I've got the English version that I've played. But that's what comes with it. And then of course you have the controller. Let's pull this out of here and I'll take a closer look at it. Okay, so here it is. So it's a standard DualShock 3 control. There's nothing different other than what you're used to a DualShock 3. So in the center it says Sony, and it's got select and start buttons there as well. On the side it's got your D-pad, it's got your sticks, PlayStation button in the center, and of course your PlayStation buttons on this side. It's still got your normal triggers at the back, and on the back there it says DualShock 3, 6 axis. And you've still got the connection for your charge and everything else. And you can see the underside is a darker kind of color. That's what it says on the label there. It's sort of a browny kind of color at the top there. And on the main surface of the controller, you've got all this artwork. Now I'm assuming it's meant to probably look like a desert, sort of like what the game is sort of when you're wandering around the desert. And you can see the fine details of it. Some cool design going around the D-pad there. And there's Drake's ring just there. More sort of desert pattern. Overall, it looks pretty cool. Um, it kind of matches the Uncharted theme quite nicely, actually. Because um, Uncharted 3 is really set most of it. Um, you've got a bit of desert in the game, so why not put desert on the controller? I wish, though, the one thing I wish from this controller is that they had put a bit more artwork on it. Maybe put some more relics or something on there to make it just a bit more more interesting. As at the moment, even though it looks pretty cool and it looks like an Uncharted controller, it just doesn't look as flashy as maybe it could have looked. But I still really like it, actually. Now this controller you can only buy from Asia and Japan. Um, there's no really where else you can buy it. It's not really been released worldwide or anything. It was only available sort of in the Japanese or Asian edition. And I believe if you buy from Asia, so you buy say from Hong Kong or something, uh, the game actually comes in a steelbook version instead of just a standard case like this one does. But the Japanese version is a lot more harder to find and it usually costs a lot more. So, yeah. These ones are usually, they're not that easy to find. I mean, you still see them, but you're usually paying, you know, full price for them. Which is usually around $100, $120, something like that. 
So it's pretty cool, ideal for any kind of Uncharted 3 fan. So if you're a fan of Nathan Drake and you want to show it, then why not get a Shock 3 that shows that you are an Uncharted 3 fan. Other than that, it works just like a Shock 3. It's good quality, it's Sony, works really well. Uh, connects up to your system really easily. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Alright guys, that's about all I can say about this one. Thanks for watching, I'm Sharky Gamer. Don't forget to subscribe, I'll have heaps more controller and accessory videos up very shortly. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to, and if you like this video, hit that like button. Thanks again for watching guys.